Legacy of the Duelist. A fantastic game. We currently are stacked on Duelist points. We've got 30,000 Duelist points. We can buy any deck we want. Maybe within reason. But yeah, we're going to continue with the GX story. So, where we finished off last time, it, we were playing it's the Dark, uh, the, the Shadow Riders, I believe they're called. Dark Signers, Shadow Riders, right? So we had the um, the Red Eyes Duelist, we had Camula, we had the, uh, the Amazonist Woman, and we had the, uh, Shadow, the, the first ever Shadow Games Duelist we played, I can't remember his name. So we, yeah, we beat all those, and then we're just going into the end game now. So this is where you finish up on like Season 1. And then you go into season two. Yeah, looks sick. Can't wait for this. So we're gonna be finishing up season one here. So the final Shadow Rider, um, and and Lay, I have no idea how you pronounce that. Basically, uh, Chaz messes up, messes up, and he opens up the, the gates, and this guy turns up. Oh, it's wait, it's Mister uh, Mister Banner, right? Is that right? Is he the actual? I don't remember this. In, the anime is this real? Mad. Oh yeah, he's the final Shadow Rider. Shh, and he is. Paper gang. All right. So the idea is, guys, we can't lose a game. Basically, if we lose, uh, then it's not the end of the world. We will keep playing, but <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest not to lose a game. So we're playing uh, anime decks. So we open Miracle Fusion, Wild Heart, Future Fusion, Bubble Blaster, and Bubble Man. So we're gonna go for. I mean, we could actually future fusion, then miracle fusion. I think that might be a play. Sending. What do we want here? It depends on what's in our deck. I don't know how many copies of uh, Piston Tricks and Clayman we have. I guess we'll find out. So we go future fusion, and then we go miracle fusion. Oh, that's a pretty nutty combo, actually. Um. Oh wait, can you not tune the first on my face? Ah, uh, okay. Then it triggers. Okay, so I guess we'll just normal summon a wild tap. And then we'll pass turn. Hmm. Big monster. Okay. But we could potentially. Now we don't. We want to go for Rampart Blaster. I think. Be safe. Yeah. So we got two copies of each, which is fantastic. So one. We got to play three of each. That's interesting. So that's cool. And then we go move with Fusion. So we can get the Rampart out in uh, next turn. And we have an additional one thanks to our lovely Miracle Fusion. Pretty busted combo. Chuck in the tag. Uh, do we? Yeah, we'll go bubble man for a laugh. Uh, actually, if this card is it, we can't even handle Uh Yeah, we'll chip away his life points, I suppose. If he has a big follow-up, then we're kind of screwed, but we take those risks. That's how we that's how we roll. We take risks, guys. If you don't take risk in Yu-Gi-Oh, don't expect to win. Pass turn. Then second stand my phase, we confusion some and then get another ramp up last round. That should be game. That should be game. I don't see how we can do some that. Stand my triggers, and then that triggers giving us. Oh, let's go! Second Rampart Blaster. Man, that combo's busted. Future Fusion, then Rampart Blaster. Or oh, Future Fusion, then Miracle Fusion. Sorry, that that combo's busted. Oh, and we got uh, sick. Oh, that's game. Surely that's game. Don't see how he comes back from this one. We'll attack with the Rampart Blaster to be sure. I don't think it's exactly a game, but um, in terms of the advantage we have in the field, it's game.
Oh, nice for achievement. Let's go. Dealt 20 key damage and direct attacks. Let's go, guys. 20 key damage. Nah, no official release yet, but um, it'll come winter. Winter this year. I think I think the whole community is like pop gas about regionals right now. I think everyone's forgot about Masters all choice, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that for sure. Uh, should be game. Oh, actually, we, we can't even attack into that. What's this card gaining an attack for? Ah, right. That's a problem. At least we can mirror force it. All right, guys, mirror force control. That should be game. Let's go. Oh, get another one. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. What the hell? Should be set. Who the hell does that? Unless you're playing Thunder Dragon in the rivalry of the Warlords. Remember that Danger Thunder Dragon, and and you get. Um, for rivalry on you, you got to set the thunders like tribute on them. Oh, funny format, funny old format that was. Right, this can attack directly, right? Yeah, this should be the game then. As long as he hasn't got anything nasty, we should be winning this. It's a good battle phase. Let's go, guys. Undefeated. So far, so good. Anime deck is scary to play and to play against. Um, we're gonna skip the dialogue. I think everyone knows what happens. Professor Banner, blah blah blah. Shadow Rider. Give me keys, and not the uh, secret beasts. Oh, sick! This is the guy that plays these, the Helios deck. Oh, I remember. I remember. All right then. This is the last, the final duel of season one, I believe, because Chumney plays Crowder, right? And that's the end of season one. Uh, does Chumley lose? Chumley loses that, right? And then he, he stays because he showed heart, apparently. Uh, so this guy just, like, he, um, doesn't he go in, like, a machine or something? Like, turn him back? Yeah. Alright. Story deck! Ah, I'm scared. I'm scared. This guy got can pop off. Alright, this guy, all right, we gotta focus here. Because any any sort of misplay or misclick, we, we're kind of screwed. Okay, we win Dice Roll. We go first because we have, like, Mirror Force and stuff. Um... Sacred Beasts are we open when the charity is graceful, guys. When the charity is graceful. Hmm. Skyscraper is also nice. Alright, see what we draw here. We want to draw. Actually, Bronze nice. Get rid of that. Oh, what does this have to do? Just floss the stone. What's this? Oh, if you have a wing creeper, let's see, in your creeper, I'll pay half your lovers, add from pronunciation. Well, from dead to your hand. If Sky's in your creeper, you can find three copies of. Uh, that's that's like if you pay half your life points for cast right, add one. Or if you move your dirty hand, I don't see how that's really that good. I mean, oh, okay. I don't really see how this sounds like. Come on, Crystal Charity, you're supposed to do better than this. Alright, we're getting rid of the Kribo, and we'll also get rid of the. Bubble Man? But is that only monster? Oh, this is quite a hard one, actually. Mirror Gate kind of sucks, but then it's like protection, so. Um, I think we get rid of uh, Bubble Man. I don't want to deck in too early, so we, it, so we, Kribo will permanently stay in grave anyway. So if we need a poly, we can just do that. But don't know how I feel. I'm going to normal some Bishrena tricks, set the mirror gate, and then we can just see what this dude throws at us. So we'll pass it in there and we'll see what happens. That's that's the game plan. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> All right, normal summon Shadow Delver. Um, and then. Mirror gate comes up. Is 
Is that the end of turn? Okay. Mm. Oh god. Not another one. Not another one. I guess we Sky Sweeper, good Monster Reborn. I don't want to. Open another one of those stones, because I don't think they got. They'd be fantastic if we had fusion materials, but we don't. So we go battle phase. What oh, was the effect of any read the effects? Oh, what's called this? We sent a field cut. Okay, let's go with that, and we can attack over it with Sky Sweeper. Sky is broken in this format. So, so good. So, so good. Oh, God. Oh god guys, we might be in trouble. This deck's giving us bricky, bricky hands. Alright, that's nice, but there is zero follow-up. We might have to do half our life points here, get a poly so we can deck in. Mm, it is a risk. Fusion recovery now, I get a poly. Oh! Huh. I don't think there's anything that we can summon off fusion with. Uh, Miracle Fusion yet. Yeah. I'm pretty, like, 99%, 99.999. Oh, no, there isn't, there isn't, there isn't, there isn't, there isn't. Avian, yeah, see, nothing. Yeah, we're good. Oh, you can do it again. That's nuts. Oh, is that risky? Uh, we got a decked in. We have to decked in. Uh, go for a Miracle Fusion this time. Oh, I should have got the fusion recovery. Nah, we're just trying to deck in at this point. Should have done this last time, but um, the only thing keeping us alive here is that mirror force. Is that a misplay? Do we lose now? If you, if you get, I mean, we kind of have to stop that. He does have five cards in hand. Oh, fiend sanctuary gets a token, right? Can he tribute summon a token? Is this where they spam them? Where they tribute summon and we just lose? Uh, <laughs> oh no, this sucks. This is really, 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 really bad, guys. Could be taking a first L here. Dex is shit. <laughs> this Dex is shite. It's purely bricked us. Yeah, we, we even opened a graceful chatty. What messenger of the peace? These monsters. If they attack, what's, what? Oh my god, when the graceful chat when the Charity is graceful, guys. When the charity is graceful. Come on, give us something. Give us something. Yes! Oh, we got the nuts. We got the nuts. Wait, that is annoying, though. Monsters with five. Monsters, wait, monsters with 15. Is that my face? Peel. Destroy this card. Okay, so I suppose we keep avian then. Get Clayman out because we can Rampart Blast. That's why we can do that. But I do think Rampart Blast can attack. So we'll get rid of both. Um... Fifteen hundred or more. Ah, oh, that sucks. We'll keep it. Any? Oh, is this even useful? Not really. I mean, it's utility. Get rid of Milk Fusion because there's no way you're going to banish. Um, Twice, but I suppose we milk confusion now. Get Rampart Blaster. I don't think, it, from my understanding, it doesn't. It's not able to attack uh, directly because it has over a thousand attack, or, or fifteen hundred. Sorry, but we're just special in defense. Do that. Can you attack? No, I thought not. That's fine. We just kind of just wait it out, I suppose. I'm hoping we have a main deck out for this. If we don't, Jane sucks. But luckily, Avian can chip some damage away. So we. No, oh my god, when the greed is pot. Pot of greed. Oh wow, fantastic. The duo putting in work here. Avian, Ambition, and Tricks beat down. Let's go, guys. 
could we beat season one without losing? I don't think that's much of a flex. <laughs> it's not much of a flex by the things. I mean, it's not. It's not. You know, it's not too easy. I mean, it's it's easy, easy, but it's not like like Pokemon. Let's go, Pikachu, easy. Oh, look at this! Happy days. Twelve thousand. And put some on a timer, so you have to do something next turn, otherwise you win. <laughs> Tiny surgery, sure. Oh. Oh. Ah. No. In phase two. I want to try and get rid of that. That would be great. <laughs> With a mirror force. Mirror force control. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate everyone there watching though. I, I do appreciate uh, you guys coming out on a Tuesday afternoon. Oh my god, he's got Uriah. Shut up. <gasps> oh. He can't attack though. Yeah, he can't attack so he got his message of the piece. Oh, we do be kind of screwed though, guys. We do be kind of screwed. Hmm. Alright, I think... Oh. Ooh. Uh-oh, guys. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. We do be able to get Tempest online, though. And we do have Skyscrapers, though. Is it Tempest or is it Shining Flit? Yeah. Wingman and Sparkman. Yeah, guys, we got a game here. Man, Stratos is good. Stratos do be good, though. Stratos do be good, though. Oh, I just realised we haven't. We can't fling. Yeah, we can. We can flame wingman because we can. He goes up to twenty-one. He goes thirty-one. That beats over Uriah. Uriah doesn't have any protection effects. Therefore, we win the game if we just poly into flame wingman, one punch man. Flame wingman is one punch man. This what a this deck's good. When it gets going, it's good. I like the last game. It break the it break the hell out of us. Flame Wingman is one punch man. It can punch you anything. As long as you have Skyscraper, of course. And that is game. That is all. Uh, we'll do uh, the Heated Heart just in case. Um, do that in uh, Stratos just in case. Because we can attack directly with um, that. And we just go for attack here. This game should gain a thousand and then we deal damage. Oh, it's the original attack. Oh, fair play, fair play, fair play, fair play. It's the original attack. All right, we should have game here. So we just strat into this thing and just piercing, right? Let's go, guys. What a play. What a play. What a play. Yeah. So this guy here tries to take over the world of Sacred Beasts. Blah, blah, blah. Get wrecked. We unlock a Raviel, though, which is pretty sick. And a fat stack of dual. Shh, guys, should we do a pack opening? Let me know if you want to see a pack opening. I'll drop a pack opening. We'll build a deck, like an actual proper good one, using packs um, in game for ranked. I don't. I, I. I never played ranked on this, but how hard can it be, right? Like Trickstar best deck, <laughs> Trickstar Altergeist, Mech Knight. I think. I think uh, Orcus is in here as well. I don't think Harpor is, Harpor is uh, limited either, or banned. So yeah, this is the. Uh, match between Chumley and Crowler. So if you don't know already, Crowler does win. However, Chumley does show heart of the Duelist and the Duelist Academy do decide to keep him in the Academy for next year. So we go first. Crowler is playing the Ancient Gear deck. So we want to use Ancient Gear Golem, the boy. I would like to invest in the ultimate ray of, of uh, Ancient Gear Golem one day. I do have the... some other like old versions of him, like structure deck versions of him, but I don't have an ultimate rare. 
I would absolutely love an ultimate rare. Oh, when the greed is pot full. Uh, hmm. Geet Town. Sick. Oh, sick. That card's good. Beast. Should we set that? I don't think we should set that. Now we could frame. I use frames effect and discard uh, the workshop because it sucks. And golem. Let's go. That's pretty sick. That's a cool little interaction. If you're if you control niche gear, set one card directly. Set one spell card. Directly. Okay. Wait, what? If you can, it has to be a monster. So you get rid of beast, right? That's pretty sick. I mean, you can get part of greed again, right? Oh, we we just got the workshop. That's fine. Or beast. Now nah, we get rid of the workshop. We actually, don't we? Really, I know. Get rid of beast. Oh my god, that's crazy. Where's part of greed? <gasps> we don't have any part of greed. Boo. Boo. We should be able to do. Um, Castle. Ah, okay, we get Castle, right? Castle's quite a sick card. But we kind of want to make sure we got a follow up. I think that's why we got the thing in hand. So we go Castle. That's pretty sick. Set the Castle middle in the Imperm column. If you know what I mean. Pass turn. Nice little follow up play. We did like go like Neg. No, we didn't Neg. That's one. Oh yeah, he has the koala deck. Alright, this guy's screwed now. You're in trouble, buddy. Oh, who does nothing nasty set? If he has something nasty set, I swear to God. Golem. Sick. Absolutely awesome. Oh, I should have... <laughs> Idiot. Why didn't you do that? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. we got battle phase. This is the one that can, re can replace itself, right? Katina. Okay, that's fine. Just get rid of it anyway. Uh, he does do be doing the damage though. Oh. Oh. I didn't realise the trigger effect. This card attacks your opponent. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, can you push some cards? Attack position. This guy's triggers. Uh, so yeah, we go knight. Knight does good. Does be good though. We do get a counter on that. We might go workshop, adding back like a beast or something. And that probably makes sense. Yeah, go beast. And then go battle phase. Uh, ba -ba -ba. He doesn't do piercing or anything, does he? Yeah, he does do piercing. Let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Chumley. Interesting. Yeah, we know his desk. Oh, he did two. Nimble. I remember this card. Ramonka. Oh my gosh, nuts. Fair play. I do be gaining life points still. Go to another frame. Not gonna use the effects. Gonna be trying to beat down here. Uh, we do hit for thirty-two through the defense, though, which is pretty nice. He does gain a thousand, but we might as well get rid of it while we can. 
Uh, go for 19 into that. 21 into a Zat. Ooh, what's this one? The Kangaroo Champ. It's got... Ooh, sick. That's pretty cool. Pass two in there. I love, gotta, gotta love each of the years. They're just sick, man. Golem's awesome. Golem is a classic card. Death Kangaroo. Nice. Oh. Oh. Tank. Oh, let's go. Tank's insane. We don't need to even... Yeah, we use castle. Oh. No, I don't really want to use castle, sorry. No. Yes. Pearson. 3900, 3900 attack. That's game, right? GG's Trembly. Let's go, guys. Let's go. That's the whole of season one. Oh, no. This is... How could I be so incompetent to realise that is the end of season one? This is the end of season one. The grad match, baby. The holy grail of Yu-Gi-Oh! matches. Zane versus Jaden. The grad match, the graduation match, the grudge rematch when Jaden lost against Zane. My favourite duel of all time. Amazing duel. If you haven't seen this duel, guys, I highly recommend it. The outcome is art. Art. For any Yu Gi Oh fan, this duel right here, art. Before we complete it, though, I'm going to go on a short break so I need to go to the toilet, but <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. Won't be too long. All right, let's go. The grad match, guys. I'm pretty cast for this. This is the the most perfect duel of all time. Perfect. I love it. I think I cried, like during lockdown. I cried watching this duel. It was that sick, that epic and sick. I really, really couldn't recommend this duel enough. If you love Yu-Gi-Oh and you haven't seen this duel, guys. Watch it. Just watch it. Uh, we'll go first. We're playing as Jaden, right? So, what is it? E Hero Beatdown. Mirror Force Beatdown. Mirror Force Control, as I call it. Um, just checking chat a sec. Okay, all good. In the hood. All good in the hood. How's a hand? Not too bad. We do have a draining shield. Not too bad. He could go for the old Cyber End Dragon. That could be a problem. If it is a problem, we do drain and shield it though. But what's life points in the day, guys? Oh, fuse this stage. That's not good. What is life points in the day? You could go for the poly here. No? Cyber Dragon? Oh. Proto Cyber Dragon. Hmm. Hmm, guys, we could be in trouble here because, right, Blade Edge is a two star tribute. That is not good. That's not very helpful. I think we'll buy ourselves a turn here by draining the shield. Get some resource. Get some, uh, get some life points. Um, could potentially top deck some nuts, but I hope we do and we don't really. So, in that case, we'll just set the avian pass. He didn't attack into my thing. Maybe he knows. Smart bot. Clever bot. <laughs> Core. Core's not good. Clever bot. Uh oh. Off. Oh. Guys. Guys, we can't, we can't lose this. Fuck. Shh. Yeah, guys, we're screwed. Uh, we do be in trouble, though. <laughs> we do be in trouble, though. S steering down a Cyber End Dragon. Oh, we touched our power grade! I'm the best at this game. When top decking is a thing, and we don't draw anything. <laughs> How anticlimactic. There's no point in even setting stuff at this stage because we're just going to get absolutely destroyed by the Cyber End Dragon. 
all we need today was a mirror force, so we'd be laughing. But the only thing laughing is his Cyber and Dragon when he's attacking to my set enemy like Eurabians. Dree. Dree's good, but you don't have any Infinity. And now he attacks. What, what a clever bot. Clever bot. Final Fusion. This is the card that actually Jaden plays at the end. Guys, yeah, we're screwed. We're so screwed. He's just going to attack with the Dree and he's going to attack me directly with 4k and then we're, it's going to be game. I think this is where we lose, guys. I think we lose here. Yeah, yeah, we lose. Doesn't feel good. Feels very sage. Very sage. Sage vibes only. Warrior is in life. That's not good. Yeah, I might have to scoop here, guys. Uh, the answer to the series, then. Can a competitive player complete this without losing? The answer is no. We don't. We don't. Thumbnail time. The answer is no then. A competitive player cannot complete this absolute NPC game without losing. But we had a good run. That doesn't stop the playthrough. That doesn't just stop stop the playthrough. I think I'm gonna keep the series name, can a competitive player do it without losing? And we can just start answer that question every start of the episode or start of the video. So yes, we Oh, the answer is no, sorry. We, we cannot, because we lost in a grad, grad match in Zane Truesdale, because we got Cyber End Dragons. And we'll, we'll refer back to that video. That, that'll be the uh, that'll be the plan. So we open a playable. He does go first, doing a dimension, different dimension capsule. Probably get rid of s s Power Bond. Is that an anime play? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Tempest? No. Wingman? Yeah. I do be kind of wingman though. Good poly. Wingman. The boy. Don't be reinforce me. I'll be very sage if you mirror force me. <laughs> right, I gotta stop talking like a um like an idiot. <laughs> Apologies. Um Right, Flame Wingman. Uh, but, but, uh, yeah, we should be able to attack into this. See what he does. He has a limited removal. Okay, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. That's why you. That's why you. You attack with the weakest first. Always attack with the weakest first, guys. Coming from Mister Misplay over here. Mister, I lose two NPCs. I lose to very clever bots. He was, he was very clever. Clever bot. Good Zane. Clever bot. Ooh, Rota. Spicy top deck. Spicy. Ooh. Control no cards. No, no, she's got dead. Effects of pure death. Go wild heart, perhaps. Or do spam. I think a wild heart. Get rid of that trap card. That trap. Don't be liking trap cards, though. Go wingman. Wingman attack with his defense. Wild heart at 15. Defusion. 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 Bro. Tiger what's In your graveyard, bro. You can defusion your opponent's fusion monster. It goes back to the extra deck. Uh, is that a thing? I never ever knew that was an interaction, bro. I thought defusion was like going cyber and dragon defusion battle phase. Bang, 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 bang. Attack all your cyber dragons. What the actual hell? I just got defusion, bro. Who the hell gets defusioned? And then I attacked this fucking cyber phoenix. All right, game. Piss me off. 
it's got top deck, like Red Eye Fusion or something, it's got Dragoon and Win. <laughs> like I do for all my other games when I play Dragoon. Just top deck for F. And then it's funny when you're like in a, uh, a simplified game state and you top deck ref and the opponent just goes ash and he's like, oh, okay, great. Uh, we, we take, we, uh, ooh, or, no, I don't have a, a hero in hand for signal. Signal's from hand, right? Yeah, or deck. Is this all deck? Or deck, you oh, idiot. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Spicy wingman do be good though, but unfortunately we don't. We might have to crash it, and that's not good because. Well, if, if he has a repair plan, that could be that could be trouble for us. But um, I think we have to crash the the wingman here, guys. If they won't let's just go by battle and listen to the creepers press someone. Okay, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, we should have done. Then yeah, that's fine. We just crash and then we just do um. Signal effect, especially someone from deck. We are still in the battle phase, so we can get some extra damage off. We want to get out here, potentially. I'd probably a Sparkman, I'd probably say. What have we got in the field? Another Sparkman? Uh, I think we get Avian. Now, what do we get Bubble Man or Bashir Tricks? Get Bashir Tricks because it is a very generic fusion card. So if, we can, if we're in a grind game here and we need a fusion material, we have a Bashir Tricks on the field. Yeah, I just, I just went to the main phase too. I just went to the main phase too. We had to card 27 life points directly then. So I've got a twig, I've got, I've got, I've got trigger fingers, guys. My, I've got fast fingers. And now he's going reincarnation. And he's going to get side dragon. He's going to attack over us. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I like this? I don't know. Uh, Skyscraper? Hmm. Very sage. My cyber dragon's good, man. Cyber dragon's the best deck. Cyber dragon is the best deck. For this format, you, 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 everyone got baited then. Cyber Dragon is the best deck for this format. Okay, 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 okay. That's a good card. We are in trouble. We do be in trouble. We're gonna wait like three turns for that to kick in, and by the time he does that, we'll he'll have a red eyes. Cyber End Dragon even. Oh, I gotta do. I gotta do. Um, I have to worry. I'm just tripping. No. <sighs> okay. Guys. Ooh. Uh, we don't want to change. We, don't, we, we want that to resolve. We go muddy. Now we go... Uh, I think we go Thunder Giant. I think Thunder Giant is actually really, really good in this matchup. Getting rid of like Twin and Cyber End. So we send the Clayman, send the Spartman, and then hopefully we do get a Thunder a Giant. Uh, I, don't even... I mean, that's okay, but it's not relevant at the moment. It will be next turn. So we survived this turn. And then we're not in a bad position. So just got to hang on here. Appreciate everyone tuning in as well. I know we're uh, quite late, but um, I do appreciate everyone watching. Uh, yeah, we keep emergency provisions for when the future fusion resolves, which it does. I just go to grave now. See, I, I don't want to send it to grave off provisions. So I think it negates it. So I don't don't want to negate my only win condition at this moment in time. <laughs> we go Thunder Giant here. Oh wow, look at the animation. Cool. I love how like this has one, but then Cyber End Dragon doesn't have one. Makes a sense, right? Okay, sick. Ah, it's not good. Nah, we've got provisions. Card sucks. One. Oh wait. Oh whoa 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 whoa. That's lucky we did that. So we just gained a thousand life points. That sucks, isn't it? Did we go? Yeah, we get rid of his advantage. Get rid of Avian. Destroy that. Put simplify the game state here. Attack into that. He has he 
Kirin. Is that Kirin? Okay. Interesting. Oh, if she has a Cosmic or an MST, who the hell wouldn't Cosmic in 20... Was it 20, 2006? I don't believe there is MST in this deck, from my experience. I, I see you play it in the, in the first match. Oh! Guys, I don't think we lose this now. We don't lose this now. Oh, we get... Okay. Sure. That's sick. Of course we do. I knew we had. I knew we had that play. I knew that was a line of play. Do we get an animation for this? Imagine if we don't. Does we do? Imagine if we don't get animation. We have to get an animation. For this. Guys, we don't get an animation for that. But we get animation for fucking Thunder Giant. Whatever. We're taking to that. Mate, no one cares about you, Kieran. Kieran sucks. You suck. Alright, Dark Hole me. Lightning Vortex me. Monster Reborn me. Why would you do that? Is it tribute? Why would you tribute it though? Oh, why do you need to take. Oh, because we don't really have. Do you have Defusion though? That's pretty spicy. Uh, what's this? Why does he gain an attack from every hue in the grave? Um, I believe, guys, we do win this game if we. Nah, we'll go Battle Phase. We'll just put some pressure on with the. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't want to like. Yeah. Uh, if you. Oh, we start like Reef. No. Alright. Can we check our graveyard mid battle phase? I think we can. If we can, then it is game. Because we just get out. Um, oh, no. It's 18 damage. Um, 18. That's 2k. So, yeah, that's. Nah, it's not. It's, yeah, it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Okay, so he puts him on a 14, then we could defusion and then tap the game. We're putting that back to the extra deck and we special summon out the materials. And that's game. Attack for 2k, right? Oh, sorry, 22. 24. 24. God, do maths. Ooh, send him back, please. Let's go. Let's go. Alright guys, so we've answered the question, can a competitive player lose during Legacy of the Duelist? The answer is yes, they can, because the game just gives us uh, an awful position where my opponent had a Cyber and Dragon. But hey, that's Yu-Gi-Oh! You can't win every game, it's impossible, there's too many factors. I don't believe it's down to luck, the game can, you can brick during this game, you can draw bad hands, but I think it's very, it is skill based. So that answers the question. Am I going to finish the series? Absolutely not. I absolutely love playing this game. It's super fun. Guys, check me out on Twitch. My link will be in the bio um, of this YouTube video, along with loads of the streams. We got regionals back. Hey, we got regionals back. We're super excited for that. So, yeah, appreciate everyone that's been watching the last few days. Um, I'm going to be starting off this series again during the week. So, if you guys want to tune in, I'd massively appreciate that with my Twitch. Um, I'm also doing a subscription benefit. If you want to sub for a month, I'll build you a deck live on stream. Um, any deck of your choice, you simply add me your Discord, send me a deck list, and I'll message you back, say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be building your deck live on stream on this day, this time, and you can tune in, watch your deck being built, go over some theory, ask you questions live in chat, and everyone else who's watching my videos can see your deck being uh, built live. Also, check out my eBay, I'm currently doing 5% off, so head over to my Twitter, there'll be a link to my eBay, as well as uh, a 5% discode, 5% uh, discount discount um so yeah appreciate everyone's been watching hope you have a great day guys and i'll see you soon